Hello, my name is Chet Davis. I love technology, and folks say I'm a great teacher. I'm delighted to be your technology tutor. Now I have the uh, iPhone and I have the Apple Watch Edition 1, and I wanted to show you a new function that I um, started using that's part of the workout app. So on the watch, you can see I've got my watch here. I'm going to go ahead and launch my watch, and I've been using the workout app for a while, the little uh, the green runner, uh, the, the runner inside the green circle, I should say. When we open that up, we have the ability to select from a variety of different um, workouts. And so this past week, uh, I did it both on outdoor cycle and also on outdoor walk. But you click on, you know, one of these workouts and then you click on start and then it will start keeping track of, um, you know, your distance, your heart rate, etc. So it shows your, uh, you know, your time, uh, how many miles per hour you're going, beats per minute, and how many feet you've traveled. Now, at the end of that, you end up with um, kind of a, a, a workout uh, record. And um, th that's not new, but here's what's new. So you can see I've launched my iPhone here, and when I go into the Health app, it's going to have a record of uh, your recent workouts. So I'm gonna go back to last Saturday and scroll down. Now this is something we've had for a while, the ability to keep track of our workouts. And you can see I had an outdoor cycle. This is last Saturday, uh, 9.8 miles. <laughs> And when I go ahead and click over here to open it up, there's more details and information, but check this out. What's new in iOS 10 and in Watch 3, iOS 3, Watch, and in Watch OS 3? See the little route in the bottom left corner? Check this out. It shows the weather that was um, uh, accurate at the time of your workout. But when you click on this route button, what it opens up? is a map based on the GPS recording of your route. How cool is that? So when I kind of zoom in here, you see the green pin is where I started and the red pin is where we ended and the red pin is kind of hidden behind the green pin because I started and ended at the same place. And the uh, colors actually give you information as well. The red color when you're going slow and the green color when you're going fast. So you can see there was a lot of uphill as uh, this is a uh, kind of a counterclockwise direction that we ended up taking my wife and I on this uh, almost 10 mile mountain bike ride. Just fantastic in China Camp State Park here in, in uh, San Francisco Bay Area, California. But this is that brand new feature. And it's just part of the system. So again, when you launch a workout in the app, um, on your phone, it will keep track of this. Now, just to show you, it's not only for, for cycling or, or bicycling. When I come over here last Sunday, we did um, a walk, and I, I recorded my outdoor walk just because we wanted to see uh, how far we were walking. So I click here, and we scroll down, and it was actually uh, alongside Stinson Beach uh, on the Pacific Ocean here in Northern California. You can see I didn't actually walk in the water. We were right at the water's edge. But you can see there's our walk from start to finish. And that's just part of the workout app that you record in the Apple Watch. And you can check your uh, statistics in the health app, the activity app. And you can check your statistics in the activity app on your iPhone. I hope you found that helpful. You'll find more resources at yourtechnologytutor.com.